Dear viewers, welcome to a new episode of Food Myths. Today I shall be talking about the egg myth. Eggs have gained a very bad reputation over the years. You may have come across an article in a newspaper or a column in a magazine or maybe a radio show or a TV show that keeps warning you about consuming eggs and it tells you if you have high cholesterol do not consume eggs. Eggs have the yellow part which is called egg yolks which is very rich in cholesterol so if even you eat one single egg it may clog your artery, block your arteries, harden your arteries and cause you heart problems. Is this true? Sometimes even healthcare professionals warn you about the consumption of eggs. So in this episode we're going to give you some facts about eggs, some facts about cholesterol and walk you through the health benefits and the adverse effects of consuming too much egg and maybe establishing how many eggs can you eat per day. We agree that yes, the egg yolk, the yellow part of egg, has cholesterol. And one egg yolk can have anything between 186 milligrams of cholesterol up to 212, 230 milligrams of cholesterol, of course, depending on the size of egg you're going to eat. Um, what is the recommended amount of cholesterol to be eaten? Actually, health experts would recommend eating anything between 250 milligrams and 300 milligrams of cholesterol, which means that yes, if you eat one or perhaps two eggs, you may even exceed the recommended amount of cholesterol. Is this true? It's true. But is cholesterol harmful? That's another thing we will discuss. Cholesterol is one of the nutrients that are very important to you. It's needed for structures of cells, it's needed for some of the hormones you need like testosterone, estrogen, um, cortisol, it's needed to synthesize your vitamin D. So we know that cholesterol is also not harmful. We need it and we need it so bad that our livers have to make cholesterol because if we can't have it from food, we have to have another source endogenous source, a source from the body that synthesizes cholesterol or makes cholesterol to help us have enough cholesterol to do all the health benefits needed from cholesterol. So what you need to know that if you eat too much cholesterol from food, your liver would synthesize or make less cholesterol. And if you have little of food, then your liver will compensate and make cholesterol because we need this cholesterol. If we exceed the amounts, then it may cause hardening of the arteries and heart disease. Please keep tuned. We'll talk about the health benefits of eggs in the next segment. back to the second segment of food myths and today I remind you we're talking about eggs. We did say that eggs have cholesterol but we did say as well that cholesterol is very important. So if eggs have too much cholesterol do we really need to consume it or not? Does it have any other health benefit that is required or not? Well just imagine that the egg is a single cell that is packed with nutrients that can really develop into a full baby chicken. 
that means it really has a lot of nutrients. What are these nutrients? Are they good for humans? Well, definitely they are. Eggs are very rich in antioxidants. And if you recall from other episodes, we talked about these nutrients called antioxidants or um, phytochemicals that help protect the body against some kinds of cancers and some chronic disease. Um, so we know that eggs are very rich in two of these products or two of these chemicals known as lutein and xanthine. And these are very important for the health of our eyes. So it helps against cataract and against macular degeneration. So that's very important to eat eggs to protect our eyes or for our vision. Another important factor or health benefit of eggs are proteins. We know it's a very good source of protein and proteins are very good for our muscles and they have a lot of other health benefits. So eggs also are considered a very rich source of proteins that is required in our diet. As a matter of fact, 15% of our caloric requirements should come from proteins. A third thing that is important, eggs are a rich source of calcium and we need calcium again for our teeth and bones. Eggs have a little bit of vitamin D and the dietary sources are scarce in vitamin D. So eggs are also considered a good source to build on our vitamin D content. Eggs give us satiety, which means eggs will not let us feel hungry for a very long time. So those who opt to eat eggs for breakfast are not likely to snack after this meal because it really makes them feel less hungry and it will last them for a long time until lunch or sometimes even a later lunch. So that's another health benefit that comes from eggs. Um, there's also um, a, a chemical or a nutrient called choline, which is very rich in eggs. And this nutrient is very important for our brain. As a matter of fact, health um, care professionals and scientists argue whether this should be considered a vitamin or not because 90% of people really lack choline and go, they take supplements to compensate for choline. So eggs are packed with choline and that's another good health benefit of eggs. So now we can see that eggs are important and we should really consume eggs. In our next segment, we'll talk about the amounts of eggs that are recommended. So please keep tuned and we'll get back to you shortly. Welcome back to the last part of our segment about eggs. Today in Food Myths, we've established that eggs are important for us, they're packed with nutrients, and we've also mentioned that eggs are also considered a rich source of cholesterol. But we did say as well that our body, our liver, synthesizes or makes cholesterol because it is required. So now that we've seen that we have a dietary source of cholesterol coming from eggs, but we have a lot of health benefits also coming from eggs. Let's explore other sources of cholesterol. We, we know that uh, internal organs like kidneys and liver, uh, red meat, dairy products like cheese, yogurt and full cream milk, butter and ghee, they're all also packed with saturated fatty acids that are harmful for our hearts and our arteries as well as they have some, a little bit of cholesterol. So if we are to cut back on cholesterol, maybe we should cut back, cut back on other ingredients because they are more likely to develop heart conditions or harden our arteries, and they're not very nutritive on the other side, while eggs can give us a lot. Now, whether heart, the eggs are bad for our heart, actually, there are a lot of studies that really argued that consuming eggs may increase our good cholesterol, our HDL cholesterol. And 
even when it comes to LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, 70% of those who consumed one egg per day did not increase their bad cholesterol. Maybe 30% were hyper responders to uh, cholesterol in egg and developed an increase in LDL. There are eggs that are enriched with omega-3, then again, they can help actually on the other hand. So it is really um, controversial. You can have eggs. You can have omega-3 enriched eggs that can even help uh, reduce another particle of fats in our blood called triglycerides. Uh, we can also say that eggs in people who have no other diseases or no chronic disease like hypertension or heart conditions or diabetes, um, it has been observed that those who consume one up to three eggs per day, per day, mind you, not per week, um, did not develop any heart conditions based on their uh, egg consumption, nor did they have higher levels of cholesterol in their blood. For diabetics, on the other hand, people with diabetes, their body works in a different way, so one egg is considered uh, enough for them per day. So now we know that we can eat eggs because they're healthy. We should try to target an egg a day, perhaps, and if sometimes we want to feast on more eggs, maybe we can have up to three eggs with no worries if we have no diabetes. Remember, it's one of the most nutrient foods because they're packed with many nutrients, yet we have to be careful of other sources of hidden uh, cholesterol from eggs. You eat your whole egg, but you may be eating pastries, cakes, and other food ingredients that incorporate eggs into them. So please pay attention to what you eat. Ask the chef if you're eating or dining out and make sure that an egg a day is safe for you to consume. Hope you'll be with us in other episodes as well to discuss more about other food myths. Thank you and see you soon.